Okay, in this video, we're just going to take a look at a couple of different scenes in here. Now, what I have is a fairly low resolution fluid simulation setup. And notice I'm in Blender Render when I'm rendering it right here. And I'm going to run the animation here within a second. So I have several lights in the screen, a spotlight. You can see the hard shadows that are being cast and some transparency uh, set to this material just to try and make it work. Now, this is Blender Render. Now, let me play the animation for this. All right, so you see the fluid movement is quite nice, but to try and generate the actual nice rendering, the nice water effect rendering, I've done actually better renderings than this using Blender Render, but you're kind of having to tweak it. So it was just a quick setup. I wanted to kind of experiment to see how quick it could make it. And now let's compare this to the same version with uh, Cycles rendering, all right? All right, so here's Cycles. And this is uh, fairly low resolution as well. As far as the number of samples in the render, I was only taking 60 samples. This needs maybe at least, you know, 100, 125 samples to really uh, clean it out. And even on the um, simulation itself, that was done with, uh, let me see, maybe 75, I think was the setting on that, the resolution, something like that. Even that could be much higher. But it gets time consuming. I mean, the whole animation, the probably the fluid simulation itself was at least a half hour. And then the animation, this particular animation was probably, at, uh, you know, 45 minutes or so. And that's 185 frames for both those animations. So that just kind of gives you an idea of the difference in the quality here. Let's just look at the other one real quick. You can see that, right? When in this case, these these little white looking dots you see in here, those are the way, you know, Blender Render tries to simulate these effects with, they're actually little halo effects to do it versus this. So Cycles is really nice and I'll eventually do a um, much higher resolution version of this and do something besides just the basic cube in the scene, you know, but I was just doing a test render so I could uh, see how much time it would actually take. All right. Well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.